Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio, Roselle, New Jersey. Today, I have Marty Dean from Cicada Audio showing us all the new products coming out early in 2024. And I gotta tell you, I'm really excited. Um, they didn't make one or two changes. They made a bunch of changes and they're not small minor changes. They're super relevant. Huge improvement to a product that I already love. So um, Marty's gonna first talk about the cut-in kit for the saddlebag, exclusively made for the Cicada 10-inch mid-bass driver. Good, Marty, let them know how this kit works. Hey guys. Well, you know, we're super excited about this cool product here. So, you know, Cicada Audio is all about solutions. And since we make this 10-inch mid-bass driver, we wanted to have a solution very similar to our cut-in lid kit. We now have a cut-in ring kit. So this is a template that allows the installer, the end user, to simply uh, locate this template with the existing two holes in the side of the bag. Simply remove the grommets. This template is keyed, so it simply lines up here. You mount this, you've got a port template, an eight and a 10 inch ring uh, option here as well. The eight inch ring is to come. Currently we only have a 10 inch option. This allows you guys to not worry about screwing this up. This makes this as easy as it gets. It's the same cut every time. There's a left and right template. It's bent in form specifically for each bag and uh, just makes this a kind of a super cool killer solution. The ring, once this is cut, the ring that gets installed in here is a molded ABS uh, two-part system. Stainless steel inserts uh, so that nothing gets corroded. The screws are removable for long term. It's a fully sealed system, or 10 inch woofer. This gasket's been made specifically for our woofer. It simply lines up with all of the grooves in the back of the woofer, giving you a direct seal so there's no water in the bag at all. And then we've got our ring and our powder coated grill that winds up trimming this out like this on the, on the inside of the bag. Clears the shock and um, it's, just a great, it's just a great solution and a kit for, for our 10-inch for our mid-base woofer. We also, again, because we're solution-based, everyone asked for ports. So of course we had to deliver. So part of this kit also is available once this is cut out. It's the Cicada three inch port. Once this piece is removed, you've got a flange, stainless hardware, powder coated aluminum backer plate, threaded, this little mesh just to keep some debris, mostly rodents that come in here in the middle of the winter. You don't want to sneak, take, a, take a nap in your bag. But there's a gasket, again, keeping it watertight behind this plate. Our port, ABS, also includes a couple of different cut options. So if you want to tune this, we've given you some guidelines to do that. Once it's installed, you're going to put some bonding adhesive. So this is installed in here. It gives you the ability to adjust, or you can insert a screw if you needed to, but typically it would be like some sort of cement or, or silicone just to bond these two together. It allows the end user to kind of adjust for an eight or a 10. You can kind of, kind of tweak that in there to give you the, mess, the best options. So. And of course, again, solution-based. Here's our bracket. So this bracket's gonna go in between our ring and the hinge. So this is going to allow you to tie the front of the bag to the rear of the bag. This is gonna come with a template in order to drill the holes from here to here. We'll have a template, you'll drill two holes in here, insert some stainless hardware. And on the other side, this will bond to our ring with the same stainless steel um, hardware kit. So again, it's kind of a Cicada exclusive uh, in solution based. Okay, so I'm excited about these because currently American Hardback is the only one that has a solution. Cicada has a similar solution, but they added a second version, which is deeper. Tell us a little bit about these. So what we did here is because we make a six by nine that is a mid-range driver only with our tweeter bridge, the magnet structure and the motor structure is a little smaller. So we developed this hard divider to accommodate just that mid and this will help um, mounting depth, but it lets it, lets it clear the 10-inch mid-base woofer in the bag. 
So this shallower one is designed specifically for our CM69X um, product. And um, silicone sealed wire inserts, pressure release valve here on the side, molded ABS, and uh, this is specifically for our CM69X uh, product. And because the new CHX and the new CHW in the CH Horn series has a much larger motor structure and doesn't require the tweeter bridge since it's a coax, this other bucket uh, and divider is the same functions, um, specifically designed for that speaker. And uh, again, same two features, silicone molded wire, um, ABS form plastic, um, just a great way to, when you add subs and mid base drivers to the bags that you protect the, the mids from uh, becoming a passive radiator. So specifically for those two speakers. Uh, when will these be available? These will be available by the end of the first quarter. Okay. So you guys are probably real familiar with this style of bullet tweeter. So this is our RR1T. And, you know, there's not many changes to be made to this. It's kind of a bulletproof, for lack of a better word, uh, one inch uh, hard dome tweeter. What we've done to it, as a lot of people have asked that, you know, when water gets in here, uh, it, it ruins the tweeter over long term. These typically get placed in lids. Uh, front fairings and they're usually pointed towards the sky or at the rider and uh, we want to keep water out of that so we developed this solution which is a add-on cap which now gives us nanofram waterproof technology and uh, acoustically transparent simply just adding a, a, just another layer of waterproofing to this speaker so these will be a running change probably beginning of second quarter you'll start to when you as you guys buy these a pair of these will be included in the box. So that's the only running change uh, is this add-on cap. These may be available as an accessory part. We haven't decided yet. So uh, once we do, um, we'll be sure to let you guys know. Just a great uh, kind of a cicada first. So uh, what a lot of people don't realize is what makes this tweeter special. Um, cicada spent a lot of time, money, and research. So it's one of the only tweeters that you can use in a batwing fairing that will clear and allow you to put the fairing on. So they fixed two problems. The second one they fixed by accident. The first one is water getting into the tweeter. The second one is a lot of clients don't like the look of the thread sticking out when it's mounted in the fairing. Once you add this, it takes up the space of the extra thread and it gives you a nice flush, clean look. So- um, Just a little more polished. Exactly. So keeps water out of the uh, voice call is one. And two, it gives you a nice polished flush look, which is a solution that a lot of other tweeters on the market don't have. Okay, here's another first for us. We, uh, you know, over the last year, we have been working on kind of redesigning and redeveloping our product line. Um, and uh, this was one of the first changes we made. The CH, our most popular selling, um, six and a half inch compression horn coax. We've tooled a basket and redesigned that. And, uh, and we changed the treatment to the paper cone. So again, still a paper cone, just a little better water treatment. And um, one of the things that people had asked for that we were able to incorporate with this speaker is this removable top of the horn. Guys like to paint these, customize these, and, um, and paint them the color of their bike or just any accent color. So this piece simply just unscrews and uh, gives you kind of the option of, of kind of customizing that to your bike. Same power handling, same mounting depth, uh, just a new basket design. Again, replaceable diaphragm for the tweeter. Um, allows you to do some in-field in service without sending a whole speaker back. And uh, that's a CH65V2. So it's uh, the current CH. They just upgraded and made it a version 2. It's a running change. So they made the cone more weatherproof. Okay, so show us the fitment of the CH in the Road Glide pod. So here's a 14 to 23 Road Glide. You can see fitment. We're still... We're still about a half inch or so uh, short of a uh, flush fit in here. So as, uh, as you guys know, in order to get the speaker in there, there's just a couple of modifications. You remove the rib on the inside, simply heat the outside, push the speaker in, gives you kind of a form feel on the side, or guys are just cutting the sides of these pods out and uh, sound deadening over the hole there. Um, same result and uh, it lets them fit in there, no problem. But if they use the new CHX. So this is going to be an exciting, really super excited about this product. 
You guys have all seen, and Carlos has talked about the CHX line, both in a six by nine and a new eight inch coax. We've brought the line kind of full circle. Six and a half, compression horn, carbon matrix cone, full waterproof horn treatment, waterproof boots at, at the base of the horn at the cone. This is a full waterproof CHX 6.5. A couple of the biggest things we've been able to do with this, with the new tool basket, is the mounting depth. It's pretty substantial. We're about a half inch shorter on this six and a half than we've ever been. This basically allows us to put this in, this pod, no modification. It's a direct drop in. This is gonna be, um, it's gonna be a home run here. It's a direct drop in. And um, one of the benefits to the carbon matrix cone is that you have a, um, a little warmer mid-base response and uh, the power handling stays the same, but you get a little warmer mid-base response and um, it's, just a great, just, it's just a great addition to our family of speakers. So something that I noticed when I tested it, this speaker is great, but it requires more power to get the speaker to perform. So it's not a replacement for the CH, it's in addition to, so depending on what the client's looking for or what kind of sound the builder's trying to make on the bike, it gives you more tools to add to your arsenal. So higher power handling, but less efficiency. It doesn't play as loud on low power as the CH, but if you give it more power, it will completely outperform the CH and have a fuller sound. So it's not better, it's different. And I'm glad that we have both these options. So as uh, if you're trying to build a bike where uh, I can tell you right now that this is probably going to be our go-to speaker on our two-speaker setups because it gives you everything. It gives you mid-range, mid-bass, and then different from the other speakers you're using before, we're now fully weatherproof, so we don't have to worry about tearing the cone. It's just a great solution, and it's it just gives us more options. I'm really excited with the guys from Cicada have been doing. They're paying attention to what we need. They're building solution-based products, and that's what we're about here at MVS Audio. So this is a home run for us. So some of the other lineup changes, you guys are familiar with our CM series, our mid-range series, which has been utilized as a single uh, a la carte pair of speakers. Also gets used with our R1T, our RR075T as a component system. And we've retooled this. So our current CM product um, over time will be phased out and be replaced with our CM65X or CM8X and 6x9X. And We've changed the cone material again to mimic the CHX product. It's a carbon matrix. We went to a satin black center cap, so it's, so it's not gonna stand out as much behind a factory grill and um, retooled the basket as well. So our whole line is a complete retool on our baskets. Um, and again, this is a direct drop in fit, same thing. It's a little shallower than our CHX, no tweeter. Um, diaphragm on the backside, so, so we're again even shallower than the CHX. We've never had a modification um, issue with these. These just drop right in, so. Where um, we really like this setup is you can create a component system, because anybody knows that when you do a coaxial speaker, by putting the tweeter in the center of the cone, you lose about 20% of the cone area, which also costs you some mid-base. Simple math. If you don't have a complete surface, it's gonna be less cone area to push forward, create SPL. So you lose a little bit of mid mace with any coax, doesn't matter who makes it. By having a solid cone, you now have a component. So this becomes a mid base driver essentially. And then you can add the separate tweeter either in the outside of the fairing or in the road glide grill. So Cicada offers a one inch tweeter that drops in the grill, comes with a complete grill assembly, which will complement these beautifully. We have clients that like it extra bright up front sometimes, so they'll actually mix a CH or CHX with the horn grill, or if you want more even sound, not as loud, then you can pair this with the Road Glide grill setup and it works phenomenally and you're 100% water waterproof. So it's a mid-base solution that pairs beautifully with the grill kit. What we're also gonna be doing this year, which is kind of a first, is, you know, from day one, you had to buy these and you had to buy these as an a la carte product. So what we've done this year is we've combined this kit. So this will now be available as a complete component system in one box. We will also be including 
the road glide, the street, uh, sorry, the street glide grill. It'll come pre-mounted to a road glide and will include the street glide grill system that you just transfer the tweeter to the other open grill. So now you've got one SKU that covers every bike from 14 and up that you'll probably ever see. Packaged in one overbox, it's got its own SKU. So now you've got a kind of a complete component solution. Just like that. Something that I just noticed, and it's one of the reasons I love being a dealer, dealer for Cicada Audio, is this is a running change. It never had a connector on the tweeter. So when we would do the install, we would cut the wire, add a Dean connector. So they listened and paid attention to what we're doing. And then without saying a word, just added the connector to make the install easier. So when you pop the grill off, you could just disconnect the tweeter completely and not have it dragging on the fairing, possibly scratching the paint. The, it's stuff like this that is the reason I will always be a dealer for Cicada. Also, there's other companies that make replacement grills but you have to reuse the gasket that came with your factory grill and you have to reuse the clips. With Cicada, you could be working on a bike that came with no grills for some reason or the customer wanted to save everything or gave them to somebody else. So it comes with the clip and the gasket. So it's a complete solution. You remove the factory part, install the new part and you're done. So another thing that's nice about this is the clips fit better because they were designed to work with this grill. Sometimes when you move clips from other grills, the plastic a little thinner, a little thicker. So this is stuff that I appreciate because it makes the fit and finish better and they don't charge you extra for it. It just comes in the box. Right, right. Like I said, when you buy this component kit, our goal was, you know, again, because we're solution-based, we don't want you to have to order two separate SKUs. You know, if you happen to have one set of components in stock, inevitably the guy's gonna walk in the door. Maybe you don't work on street guides that often. No, and you don't have those grills in stock. Now you have to special order grills. Well, this kit will have all of the parts needed to install it on either one of those platforms. And uh, we've just kind of included it all in the box. Just again, solution-based uh, products. Similar to the six, it's available on an eight. This is going to give you the most lowest frequency that we've ever made out of a mid-range speaker. Um, this is a direct fit and we've changed and we've listened. We've retooled the basket. We've now gone to a simple four leg design. We've gotten rid of our six leg. We've tapered them in, it makes the mounting a little easier. We've tested these in quite a bit of aftermarket lids. And so far we've, um, we, we've had pretty good success and requires no modification of the speaker and slim to no modification of those lids that this fits into. So we've got grills available for these. Uh, billet aluminum in a flush and a lip style. Uh, also available for a tweeter to be mounted so you can kind of make this a component as well. So those are some accessories available for this as well. So we tested them in the Speed by Design Twisted 8 lids, drop and fit, no modification. We tested them in the Avant Black, eight inch lids, drop and fit, no modification. And uh, Dirty Bear lowers, drop and fit, no modification. And they sound really, really good. So this is the CM line. The CM line was technically a mid bass but it didn't really play low so it was more of a mid range these play a lot lower and i'm really excited the way they sound and with the carbon fiber cone we don't have to worry about water this is probably the part number that excites me the most um we like six fine lids here um we're not a fan of putting a speaker with a horn in the lid only because it's gonna collect water so in the chx series they've addressed that issue but this solution makes me more excited because once again, it doesn't have a driver in the center. It's a full cone, it's carbon fiber, it's weatherproof, and it has a ton of mid bass. We tested this on a 2400 with off one bridge channel and the speaker performed phenomenally. So um, it gives you, we have a lot of customers who won't let us cut the bags to do eight inch woofers. So we're always looking for an eight or a six by nine that will give us really good mid bass performance weatherproof, won't get torn up in the rain, and the customer could just enjoy their bike, run a ton of power to it, and just enjoy their music. This is a really good solution. Out of everything I tested, this is one of the things that has me the most excited. Yeah, again, again, just some, some small improvements. Carbon cone, black center cap, new tool basket. Um, this, again, is designed to fit with our shallowed bag divider. So once, we, once you put this in, We've got a slim, shallow mount. Our tweeter bridge would go on top of this. You could do a combination of either our 075 tweeter 
or our one T tweeter in our tweeter bridge. It, it, even if you're not doing a, a mid bass or a sub, this, this divider is just a really nice way to clean up the back. If you, if you just like that nice factory look, that clean look, and you don't want to see the motor and some of the wiring, you, you can install these just to trim out the backside of it. So when you open the bag, it's just a more polished look. Is there anything we missed? I don't think so. Okay, anything else that you have coming out in 2024 that you're allowed to talk about? Um, I would stay tuned for some amplifier changes. Um, it's a little early. We've got some changes coming to our electronics line. Uh, we also have a, our new DSP88 V2, which is shipping. Um, we've improved the Bluetooth communication side of things on that. It's a new chassis. Um, we have continued to improve the DSP software. Uh, PC software is now included in each one of those boxes when you buy them. It's just an EXE file downloaded from a thumb drive and, uh, and away you go. Uh, we we uh, every day are working on trying to improve that side of things and um, so far uh, it's been successful at doing so. Awesome. So this is currently one of the only drop-in fit, weatherproof, high power, coax for Harley Davidson audio. These are the new Cicada CHX 6.5s, available in 2 ohm and 4 ohm. Rubber gasket to prevent water from going in the voice coil, and the frog skin to prevent water from going into the tweeter. Thank <laughs> you. 